Hello everybody, welcome to my new video. This one is brisket burgers from a untrimmed pack of brisket. Currently on, this is a cryovac Angus whole pack of brisket untrimmed that I got from Sam's Club. Uh, I got the biggest one they had, which I think that was a mistake because this has got way more fat than I wanted to have. As you can see here, they're notoriously fatty in the first place, but this had more fat than meat. So therefore, I lost out on cost per pound. Normally, um, around the 90 95 cent per burger range, I'm over a dollar on this one. But hey, you live and you learn. Sometimes you lose. I'm going to take all the fat I can off this, trim it down. And cut them up into one inch chunks, which you're about to see right here. And then they will process easily through my grinder that I have on my KitchenAid. And don't you just love it? A solicitation call happens right when you're recording. Jerks. That's enough trimming and chopping for now. This is the finished product on the left. The one inch chunks of meat with lots of uh, fat on it. The extra fat to the right. I'll use a few pieces of the fat to the right, put it into a bowl to the left, and put it in the fridge to harden up. Now these are all the pieces to my KitchenAid grinder attachment. i put them in the freezer, as you can see from the frost, to keep them nice and cold, which keep the product nice and cold and grinds much better. As you can see, there's extra pieces of fat on the uh, top of the meat and I'm going to run the meat through first and see how it looks. If I need some extra fat in this, which it doesn't look like I'm going to need to, I'll run that fat through. If not, I'll discard it. As I said, there's lots of meat fat in the uh, brisket, so we should be okay.
All right, looks great. There's plenty of fat there, nice and ground and loose. No need to add any extra fat. Okay, here's the extra chunks of fat that uh, we could have added to the brisket if we need it, but we do not. There's plenty of fat. Here is the seasoning I'm going to use. It's Mike's Country Rub. It's like a kicked up SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, heavy on the G. Uh, it, it blends out really smooth and rich and mellow once it's cooked. It's really great stuff, so it's not a problem adding a lot, which you're going to see me do here. Uh, I add some, I mix it up as you can see me doing here and I will grab a chunk and smell it um, which is right here uh, once you smell it in the product in you know in the burger meat you know you've got enough I think I need a little more so I'm gonna add a little more here I do smell it in different areas to make sure and we're good to go time to make some burgers This is a burger press my parents actually gave me and I love it. The depth here is adjustable by turning this. Uh, right below it is the locking me mechanism for the depth adjustment. Now what I'm going to do is take some saran wrap and line it onto this sheet pan. Because we're going to make the burgers, put it onto it, separate the layer of burgers with each layer of saran wrap so we can freeze them. Now to keep any burger meat from getting squished up into this press, we're going to lower, uh, excuse me, we're going to layer the lower and upper area of the uh, press with saran wrap. As you can see here, this is the lower. Just wrap it around. Now I'd recommend anybody getting one of these because they're wonderful. You can get really thick burgers, really thin burgers, whatever you want. Easy to use. So I've got the bottom part layered with saran wrap. I'm going to grab a ball of meat, put it on there, lay the top part of saran wrap I have to the left of the device right now, the press, and lay on top of it and then press it down. That way it doesn't stick up into the uh, adjustment area top. Sometimes something squeezes out, you can tear it off or push it onto the burger. No big deal. See? And it just slides right off. Perfect burger. There you go. Plenty of fat content. All right, there you go. There's the first layer of burgers made. Now we just need to take a sheet of saran wrap and lay on top of these and continue to make our burgers, placing a layer of saran wrap in between each one so they don't stick while they're freezing in the freezer. There's a picture of all the burgers done. I got 37, I think it was. And the burgers came out to be about one third pound, as you can see here. And here I am taking them out of the freezer. It's been a couple of days actually. And I'm going to separate them out and put them in the Ziplocs.
three bags, 37 burgers, frozen, ready to go. Let's grill some. I took these out of the freezer and let them thaw out for about an hour before I put them onto the grill. As you can see here, they have plenty of fat. No binders and needed, no eggs, no cracker crumbs. Beautiful, beefy flavor. You see me pressing the burgers with the edge of the spatula. That's me testing the resistance of the burgers to see how well they are done. And they're done, so I'm taking them off. My wife likes butter toasted buns, so that's what I'm doing here for her. Nicely toasted. Good to go. Okay, let's put a burger together. Uh, this bun you're seeing here is not the bun that you saw me toast. This is a high fiber, low carb bun that I got off the web. It's a recipe. I'm very impressed with it. It's crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. It's kind of wheat-like, which I'm fine with. Um, once I ate this, it did not really raise my uh, sugar through the roof like a normal bun would. It would be insane. I'm putting a fair amount of mayo on this because I love mayo, and it's low-carb. There comes a sexy burger. Look at that. Beautiful, juicy, tender, flavorful. I think you need to try this. A little bit of ketchup. A little bit of mustard. Put some red onions on here. And some pickles. I didn't have any normal size pickles. All I had was a gherkins, but you know what? They're still good. Forgot the cheese actually, but oh well. Let's see what it looks like in the cross section. Oh, sexy burger. Look how juicy that is. Let's see how it tastes. Well, look at the juices drop just there. This is good. Thumbs up, people. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Share if you can. Goodbye.